Well, I've spoken on this several times in the past, so I guess I have to speak on it again because people aren't listening. Well, that's fine. You get to hear it again. There's big talk about Trudeau and other socialists, communists, fascists, etc. Man, they're all the same. All right? Same same pile, same smell, if you know what I mean. Um, saying, oh, uh, there's people with homes too big or they have uh, rooms in their houses that no one's staying in and we have to deal with that. You have to deal with nothing. And the only reason that Trudeau and his little gang of thieves are even able to speak on these matters is that um, our provincial governments, every single provincial government in every province to date has failed us. Well, what do you mean? This is what I mean. The Canadian Constitution Act of 1867 and 1972 or whatever that date was when Trudeau brought it back. 87, that was it. Or was it? I don't know. doesn't matter. It was a long time ago. 82. 82, that's it. I'm looking at it right here. Um, yeah. Section 91 details the uh, authority and jurisdiction of the federal government. So anything in Section 91 is the exclusive jurisdiction of the federal government. Section 92 is the exclusive jurisdiction of the provincial governments which means the federal government would be operating ultra virus if it ever attempted to move in on one of these sections these jurisdictions but you see they can now because the provincial governments have failed section 92 says in each province, the legislature may exclusively, which means nobody else, make laws in relation to matters coming within the classes of subjects next here and after enumerated. That is to say, and we'll go all the way down because you don't want to read the first 12 because it'll bore you. Section 92, 13, pro property, and civil rights in the province. Property and civil rights in the province. And there it is, right there. You're reading the Canadian Constitution, right there. Property and civil rights in the province is the absolute sole jurisdiction of provincial governments. So if we want to keep nasty little Trudeau and his grubby little fingers off our houses, our cars, our businesses, our guns, etc. All we need is for our provincial governments to actually do their job and legislate personal property rights. Now let's add to that. Wild Rose Loyalty Coalition will bring in those personal property rights. And we will establish certain parts of property, like primary domicile, your place of business, your car, firearms, minor children, as specially protected personal property, and your bank accounts, which means without court orders, no one can go sniffing around them. So when Trudeau wants to try seizing bank accounts next time, if we have a Wild Rose Loyalty Coalition government, we will have personal property rights established in the Constitution that will make it impossible for him to do that. Now when it comes to him, oh, we're going to deal with your empty rooms and your houses are too big, so we'll take your houses away and give them to immigrants or whatever it is he's planning to do. Whatever it is, it's evil and we know it. Those laws. So, Daniel Smith, you listening? I know you're not because you don't pay attention to people like me. But if anybody who knows her is listening, get her to watch this video. All she has to do is table legislation based on Section 9213 of the Constitution Act. And she can protect our houses, our businesses, our cars, guns, children, etc. From the evil sticky fingers of Justin Trudeau.